welcome back everyone, my name is Echo. just a quick update video for the Minecraft 1.2 beta. Build 3 has been released but apparently it's only for Windows 10 edition. Now this is very unusual and I believe it's something to do with the connectivity of 1.2 to Minecraft education. So if you're on Android, no beta build, you should still be on beta build 2 which is 1.2.0.7 if I'm correct. The version I'm on on Windows 10 is 1.2.0.9. Now there's still a bunch of bugs guys, I'm expecting another beta build for both versions this week and if you have come across any bugs that nobody else has noticed, there's a link in the description to bugs.mojang.com, please report them. Mojang are fully aware of the bugs such as the skin problems where you can't use custom skins and much more. But getting into this because I did do a little bit of research, so basically Matt tweeted this saying code connection for hashtag Minecraft education now works on MC Bedrock 1.2 beta for Windows 10. Check it out and tell us what you think. Now I headed over to our website and there really wasn't that much information on there. Now this is the official change log for 1.2 build 3. It just says new feature code connector enable for Windows 10. Bug fixes, name tags should again work as expected. Fixed a crash when connecting to servers. That was it which was very unusual because as we all know, there are a lot of bugs in this update in the current beta build too. So I was expecting a huge list of bug fixes. That wasn't the case. So I did a little bit of research and I come across this saying, Code Connection is a companion app for Minecraft Education Edition that connects editors and students with Code Builder for Minecraft Education Edition. Once Code Connection is installed, Code Builder can be accessed in game by typing the command forward slash code in the command console. And you can see it right here. So it just says attempting to launch Code Connection forward slash code. And I believe it opens up a menu very similar to this one, which is, well, on the education. Make code, scratch, Tanika, and add service. That is all that I could find in regards to Code Connection. So. It really isn't relevant for me and the everyday Minecraft Windows 10 Edition player. It's all to do with the education version, so schools and all that stuff. So that is literally the information I have for you in this video. Now, it is important that if you do come across any bugs on Android and on Windows 10 Edition, that you report them. The reason we have a beta, the reason why we have feedback, is so that we can send over a bunch of feedback to Mojang. Now, I've been speaking to a couple developers and arguing the case that the recipe book needs to be a toggle on or off option because I don't like having the recipe book on all the time. To me, it discourages the manual crafter to use the crafting table because all you do is automatically click things. So hopefully that will be an optional thing. A couple of things that I really don't like, I've been explaining to Mojang and much more, but hopefully you are enjoying the beta. I do have a small update in regards to Minecraft Xbox beta. It's not out yet. We was hoping to see it yesterday, but Aubrey did confirm that it wasn't coming yesterday. There is a chance it could be released today, but personally, I don't think it's coming until the back end of this week. I will make a dedicated video when the Xbox beta has been released. Until then, guys, sit tight, enjoy the Windows 10 and the Android version, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!